hey guys this is your friend Mainak from civil center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer so friends in today's video on Tecla Structural Designer we are going to discuss some options of mat footing so friends we had made a previous video in which we had shown how to design mat footings how to provide pile foundations below the mat footings so to watch that video you can go to the link which has been given right here so having said that let's continue with today's video so for using the properties of mat we need to go to the foundation level that is the structure b1 and as you can see this has been designed and if you just click on it and right click and then you can also generate the report for the member report using clicking here and you can see the report so it is the reinforcement has been given the depth has been given and the pile has been designed as a single unit so going back to uh, the foundation level if we want to split this we can also do it so let's go to the structural view and then we'll go to the option of foundation in which we have the mat split so using the option of mat split we can divide it into two parts so which will enable us to you know design this mat as two parts so if you want the mat to be designed in two parts we can use this particular option so what are the other options we also have the option of your mat opening so if you want to create an opening in the mat we can do this using this option so you can just simply select this and uh, create an opening you can always you know click on F2 and change the dimensions which has been given offset X and offset Y and simply click here you can create the opening here so like this we can create openings in mat so the next property which we are going to discuss is your mat overhang so what is that suppose we have a building and and we want to increase the mat on a particular side or we also want to create a tapered you know extension of the mat so to do that we can do this using the option of your mat overhang so by simply clicking on mat overhang and you can uh, just change the width so let's say we'll give a width of 500 mm and we'll select the side in which we want to provide the particular width so as you can see this has been increased by 500 mm you can also see it in the 3d view the increase in the width so I'll just click on Ctrl plus Z and that is undo it and then again we'll show an option of mat overhang but this time we'll just click on tapered so we want a tapered uh, mat footing say a uh, width 1 will give us uh, give us your let's say 200 and width 2 will give it as 500 so we'll provide this particular width of the mat as you can see this is the width 1 then the width 2 that is the width one, 2 is the 500 and the width 1 is your 200 so as you can see this is a tapered mat which has been created in Tecla Structural Designer so if you want you can also uh, design this for designing this you can uh, first define the load combinations once again since we have made certain changes you can it's better to define the load combinations once again so after defining the load combinations you can design the structure by clicking on design all static and after that you can go to the foundation and click on design mats so as you can see the mat footing has been designed and in this footing we have you know added a particular uh, hole or you know an opening in the mat footing we have also added an extension and we have also split the mat into two parts so these things we can uh, we have done in Tecla Structural Designer so friends I hope that you found this video useful for more such videos stay tuned to our channel comment below and if you want a professional training from us on Tecla Structural Designer or any other software or courses related to civil engineering you can do so using the link which has been given in the description that's all for today bye bye